I was raised to be a queen bee. Worker was never considered. Wannabe not even in the vocabulary. There's a great investment in a queen. Special food, the royal jelly, the best education the hive can provide, and equally great expectations of a queen. The quid pro for all of that nurture, protection, and schooling is productivity, creativity, hard work. My being raised a queen bee means over the years I've helped to build really successful hives. Welcome to Vision the world's first national multi-faith television network. I'm your host. I'm Rita Deverell, and this is Take 30 Access. What I discovered in television is that I could make things happen, have an idea, put a lot of work behind it, and something would happen. This series is designed for community groups who have a message to get across but have been unable to get on television. And the groups control the editorial content of the program. Life is determined by the people who show up. And if you're barred from showing up, this is a big problem. I think the problem comes up when we genuinely challenge the power and privilege structures. I knew if I wanted some place for people who looked like me to work, I would have to build it. If I have a lasting legacy, it will be in having expanded who had voice. Okay, what can we learn from a humble bee? They have something that is valuable, a hive flowing with honey. The brilliance of the old queen is not just to stay in the hive, being pampered, eating royal jelly, and getting fat. The brilliance of the old queen is to know when to send the signals out. This hive is yours. Take it. It's time to swarm, queens. Swarm! I want to be remembered as a woman who never stopped. I'd like to start with a question, which is what is it we want to change? 